Swan Hunter Shipyard was for a long time the premier shipyard of the time. It owned a lot of the other shipyards around here, including Palmer's at Jarrow and Redhead's at South Shields. And it owned um, Armstrong's Naval Yard up at Walker and the Neptune Yard just there, as well as um, Parsons Turbines. Now, the golden age of shipping, I mean, this, this, the ships you see here today coming in, they're quite ugly things these days, big, they're big carriers you come in, you cut, that come in and out the time. But the golden age of shipping was at the turn of the 20th century. And that's when you got these enormous liners being built here, like Mauritania. And Mauritania was also known as the Queen of the Tyne. She was like the biggest, fastest ship in the world. And she held the blue ribbons which is the record for crossing the Atlantic. In both directions, she held that for over 20 years, from 1909 to 1929. That's the, the Mauritania, the Queen of the Tyne. And they had to build that slipway there just for her. I mean, the building of Mauritania was really the foundations of, of Swan Hunters as a, as a massive shipyard. And so they built that slipway purposely for, for Mauritania. And, um, you know, I mean, the, the, iconic, the iconic ships that were built here at Swans are like these huge, enormous oil tankers, the SO Hibernia and the SO Northumbria that were built in 1970, around 1970. But, and, and they're like the iconic ships of Swan Hunters, but uh, like towering over the terraces here on the Roman fort behind me, or behind you. But actually those were not great ships. They were badly built. They were built during the oil crisis in the early 70s when the Suez Canal was closed and shipping oil around the world wasn't profitable. And so these enormous tankers, they didn't stay in service for very long. They were very leaky. They constantly needed repair, and they, they, were, they were in service for a very short time. So those weren't the really great ships. Like I say, the great ships were the big liners like Mauritania. And she was built here. Sadly, there's, that, that industry's all gone now, but it was once a real golden age. And the reason that Mauritania was such a beautiful ship and such an amazing and fast ship was because she used the turbine technology, the latest turbine technology built by Parsons, which was also owned by Swans, and that allowed her, those, those turbines allowed her to just uh, move much faster than any other ship at the time.